What is going on ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing five more skills. Now, today we're going to be doing the skills that you don't actually need to touch the ball when you're doing the skill. So this is going to be five skills without touching the ball. Let's get into it. So let's jump straight into the skills. Now for this first skill, it's very, very sort of situation based. It only tends to happen in certain situations. Now, for the first demonstrations, you can kind of see there's not much movement from me, but there's more movement from the defender. Now, it can be used like this, but mainly, you want to focus on when you're both running towards the ball, but you're going to get there first. The defender knows you're going to get there first and has to make a decision whether to close the ball down or your first movement. Now, your first movement has to be a dummy, so that they go with that little dummy, and then you take the ball away. Or you don't even have to touch the ball, they'll go straight past. Now, you see it happen in pro level. If I can find a clip, I'll insert it at the end. Um, but you see it a lot. I know Danny Alves once did it against Ronaldo, I'm pretty certain. And he made him look like mug. But yeah, very, very basic. You're just going to drop your shoulder and then keep the ball. Like I said, it's very focused on if you get to the ball first, so you can throw the defender off. Okay, so for this skill, I've done it facing away from the defender, but you can do it facing towards the defender too. But I feel like in recent videos, I've showed the double feint facing the defender. So for this example, we're facing away. So what you want to do is mainly focus on the second feint. So the first feint, you can kind of put a little bit of a dummy in there, but you don't have to use too much exaggeration. But for the second feint, use a lot of exaggeration as if you're going to go that direction and then fool them by turning the other direction. And him or her are going to be a bit more confused if you're doing two steps than one step. Like I say, you can do it facing forward, and you can also throw in a step over on one of the dummies if you want to, but for this, just keep it basic and do the double feint. Okay, so for this skill, it's an adaption of the one we just did, but this time you're going to throw in a step over, just like I said before. So if you throw in that step over, it's kind of a bit more of a skillful version. Also, I've showed the examples facing the defender, so you can kind of see both sides of things, and you can see one of the examples I'm facing away. So it works in both ways, both of these tricks, the last two, they work in both directions, it doesn't really make a difference. But with this one, what's good about the step over is when you're stepping around the ball, the defender is going to be a little bit more lost like I said it's a little bit more skillful so that they might be a bit more clueless on where the ball is going to end up but once you do that step over that's its feint in itself and then you do the big feint as if you're taking it the other direction and then you come out with the ball um, and hopefully pass it off finish dribble wherever you want to go but yeah use this one it's a bit more of an adaption to the last one we just did so hopefully this one's a little bit more of an advanced version for you okay so this skill is very situation based just like the first one it's all about timing and things like that but it does pop up a lot in matches so you'll see a lot of centre midfield players doing this as they need a little bit more yard on their defender so they'll open their body up at the right moment just as they think they're going to dummy and take the ball forward they'll do that and open a yard or two of space now why this trick is so good is because the defender has to make a decision again whether he wants to commit to the ball or commit to where you're going to take your first touch so they've got four things to think about go to the ball go to the left go to the right or process the fact that you're going to do that skill and actually follow you that way which a lot of the time they won't do that and if they do you can just take it around them so it doesn't really make a difference so as long as you're going to get to the ball first you can do this skill so you're going to step your foot in with the exaggerated dummy you're going to open your body out you're going to take it out there and it gives you a yard or two to make a pass to make a shot to make a dribble whatever you want to do but yeah use this it's very very handy i hope it works for you guys Okay, so I threw this skill in right at the end there because I think it's kind of a, a one for me personally because I'm a striker. I like to get through a one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. And if I do get that opportunity, I've got a little bit of time. I'd like to show you something that I've used in the past. So there's a lot of times where you finish early, put them in the bottom corners, finish them early, surprise the keeper, and they don't know much about it. Or you can take the keeper on quite simply. But if you've got a good amount of yards between you and the keeper, you've got time to process it. You can pretend to shoot early step your foot around it or just dummy and then put it the other way now you can use this in a few ways you can pretend to shoot take it round them score or you can just pretend to shoot and put it in the other corner it doesn't really make a difference it does the same thing only do this though if you're sure that you can do the dummy properly if you do that and they don't move then you put yourself under a bit of pressure of where you put it then and your brain doesn't really want to have to think about that in their moments so you're going to want to try and make sure that you're going to fool the keeper by faking it that way and then putting it the other or taking it around them you're going to make sure that the keeper will go down or at least get fooled by the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all the lovely stuff if you're new. I will see you guys in a few days. If you want to go check out Elliot or Rob's on social media, they're down in the description too. But don't worry about that. He's not that interesting. Thank you very much, Robson.